Good morning, it's me. I'm back. I'm Stephanie Flath, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and I'm coming to you live on Wednesday, September 14. It's 10.30 a.m., and um, I'm always live at that time on a Wednesday. Um, otherwise, here on my Facebook business page, um, facebook.com slash dazzle by stamping. You can find me any other time on my website um, at dazzledbystamping.com. You can find events there and um, uh, projects and what else? You can shop. You can shop with me there. You can join my team there. All that sort of thing. So I'm going to let me know when you come on. And I'm going to refresh my screen here so that I can see comments even while... I'm stamping with my thing down. Um, so did you read my, um, did you read my, um, my reminder this morning that um, I actually, hi Marlene, I actually have my tools back. I'm so happy. Um, I found it a couple days ago. Oh, I, I don't know if I went, oh, I think I found it um, for my team check-in. I always come come live on um, Sunday nights for, with my team um, just for a quick check-in before the week. And I found that I had my, I have my things there so I can flip my screen. So, um, I mean, I've been able to go back and forth like so that you can read when it's up, but then when I put it down, I couldn't flip it so that you could see what I was doing while I was doing it without my having to stamp upside down. <laughs> So thanks for your patience with that. I don't know what happened to Facebook, but they brought me back my tools. So I'm very thankful. Okay. Um, we have so many things going on right now, but I will, I rather than take all the time in the beginning um, to tell you about them, I'll talk to you as I go or at the end or whatever. Um, but they're specials starting tonight and specials going on right now. It's just crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, so I'm actually going to just jump right in with my um, randomizer. If you are new to my page, um, uh, my randomizer is my my um, pet name for um, when I give away the projects that I make on my live. And I made four last week. Um, they were really quick, pretty cards, and um, so I have four projects to give away. So when you share my video, and then you let me know that you shared it, because if you don't let me know, I don't know. Um, uh, then I enter you in my, um, it's a computerized pick a name sort of thing, and so I enter you in there, and so then I pick names. So, and I actually, I'm still behind with one card, but I got couple months worth of cards out last week. Um, so I'm, <laughs> I'm getting there. All right. So on to my randomizer. Oops. Hit something weird. Oh, my, my computer is being very slow. I need to figure out what's going on. Um, okay. It's up here. Okay. So I have to pick Four names, and I am all loaded up. Click start. Terry Costin, you're my first winner. I didn't see if you're on yet. Terry Costin. She got the, the hippo biscuit last night. <laughs> um, uh, congratulations, Terry. I only actually saw one person say hi to me. Let me know if you're on. Okay, pick another name and start. Dina Edwards, congratulations. Okay, sorry, it takes me a minute to write it. All right, pick another name, start. Marsha Hill, <laughs> I had a load to send her last week. Okay, one last name. Pick one more name. Sorry, I'm not giving away chocolate this time. <laughs> Marlene. 
Kathy Polderman, congratulations. Okay, so I picked all my names. Put them on post-it notes so that I don't have to keep looking up who it is by the time I finally, finally am ready to send cards out. All right, now it's giving me a delay with, with going back to the screen that I want. I don't know what is going on with this computer. All right, has anybody else said hi to me yet? I can only see that Marlene said hi. Um, I see a bunch of you are watching. Um, are you having a problem commenting? Oh, well, I guess I'm going to be talking myself today. <laughs> Sorry, bouncing my screen. Um, okay. So today, um, I've been loving my blending brushes, and I have more projects for you with blending brushes. Um, and I can see hearts and, and likes and stuff like that, but... The only comment, maybe I need to refresh again. Um, the only comment that I see is Marlene saying good morning. Um, so I'm trying this again, just in case. If that's all, that's fine. You have been. Okay. Dina. Oh, good. Okay. You've been commenting. I don't know what happened. I guess it just froze. Okay. Thanks for commenting. Let me know. But I can't see everybody's now. I see Dina's on and Marlene, and that's all I see. So, hello. <laughs> Thanks for commenting. I don't, I don't know what's, what's up. So I gained my uh, tools and lost my comments popping up. All right. So I'm using. Oh, did I bring it over? Oh yes, I did. Okay. So I'm using once again. Soft Seedlings. I love this stamp set so much. It's amazing. And I have um, a card that my team at my team meeting saw the other day. And then I have another card. It's actually, I'm totally um, casing, copying, and sharing um, a card that Nadine made for me. I went to her team meeting actually last weekend. And um, it was really pretty, and so I wanted to show you. So using blending brushes like crazy. And for those of you who were here last night, I did finally, um, I think Anne asked me about it. I did finally clean my brushes, but it's so weird. The The ink gets so embedded in there, like it's, it's, still, it's still coming out as if I never cleaned it. So like, these are clean brushes. <laughs> and it's not just... I don't know, like the colors wicking up to the top or something. It's crazy. So, um, all right. So, um, yeah, I'm, it, I'm, I'm sorry if you're commenting at all because nothing's showing up on my screen, on my phone. And the last comment that I see is Dina saying, yes, we have. <laughs> so I'm, maybe I need to just refresh every once in a while. So if you comment and I don't say anything, that's why. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. So just warning you. Oh, Bev's on. I just on my break. I'll watch later. Refresh. Okay. I did refresh. Hi, Bev. Hi, Dot. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, so I'm going to put you down and I'm going to stamp. So let me see if my tools are there. There's my wand. Okay, I'm gonna un backwards you, upside down you. Ah, it's so great to have my my tools back again. And then put you down. Oh, sorry, I'm really bouncy today. So sorry. There. I think that's right. Okay. So, um, first project. I'm starting with Nadine's project first. So she's doing something. This is not a new technique. Um, some of you probably have done it before. Um, and it is called Stamp and Resist or Embossing Resist, something like that. Um, and um, sorry, I'm refreshing again, just in case. 
um, share two times just in case having trouble. Thank you. And thanks, Marlene. Okay, so what I have is, I just opened it and didn't even talk to you. What I have is Versamark, which is a um, clear ink pad. The ink is clear. Um, and it is embossable, um, which is important. Um, uh, well, I guess I've done it. Oh, no. You can do this without embossing it if you do it on... Um, glossy cardstock, which we don't carry anymore. Um, and if you let it dry before you continue. But what I'm doing is inking up with this with this clear ink. You really want a, a clean stamp, which um, I cleaned this with, I don't know if we still have this. We used to have stays on cleaner um, so that it really gets your, your stamps clean. And it still sort of has this color on it. So hopefully it still turns out well when I go to emboss it. Okay, so I'm inking up this big leaf stamp that you can see with clear ink that's reddish. <laughs> that's so annoying. Um, I'm gonna stamp this a few times. By, this, by the way, if you can't tell, this is very vanilla cardstock, not um, not basic white. All right, I'm going to stamp one more time. And go here. I turned my, um, my fan down for this, which isn't, oh, that's white. Just a sec. I tried white to see if it would, would look better. Okay, so I have my tray. Um, this is an old one, but we do have a tray again. Oh, and I forgot to do a step. Well, at least I'm not going to be doing this one. Um, so I'm pouring embossing powder over the whole thing. It does not matter how much I put down because I'm going to recollect it again. That was sort of repetitive and redundant. I'm going to collect it again once I'm done. So I'll tap it off. Oops, and flick it off. So the step that I missed, that's kind of important, but it doesn't look too bad is um, we have in the embossing toolkit, um, again, we have an embossing buddy, which is, you might be able to do without it if you have, here, let me see my comments and dots. Yeah, I, I, I see Bev and Dina said she shared two times and Marlene and Marlene again saying I'm only seeing my comments and dots. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on with comments. Hopefully I'll see them after I'm done and I'll answer any questions that anybody has. So sorry if I'm not able to answer your questions right in the moment. Okay, so I have embossing powder all over this. Um, this is an embossing buddy and we want to use this before you stamp. And I am so out of the habit of using it because it drove me crazy to use it um, that I didn't but you really need it with this technique because you don't want excess powder all over where you haven't stamped, okay? So I already did one that, um, just a sec, I'm gonna pour this back in, so I'll show you. you. It doesn't matter how much you dump in. I had mostly a full container, I don't know if you can tell that or not. Um, and when I dump this back in, it'll be still mostly full again. Tapping's helpful. And brushing. Sorry for the racket. All right, so I just want to show you. Some people freak out, like, "Wow, that's a whole lot." My container's almost full again. Okay, so that's all I need for that. So I already did 
emboss this one. I don't know if you can tell that it's shine. Oh yeah, there, I got it in the light. It's shiny now. Um, so this one is ready for me. I don't want this powder here now. Hmm. Just a sec, I'm gonna shake this off. All right. So now what I want to do is I'm gonna add some pool party with my blending brush. And I'm just gonna kinda go, gonna make a background on here. And I got a bossing powder on there. I loved her choice of colors cause I've been doing well, you know what I've been doing. I've been doing the red and orange and yellow. Sorry, I'm refreshing my screen again in case it helps. Um, I've just been stuck on those colors because I love them. Um, double checking again. Sorry, checking for comments. Terry liked and shared. Thank you so much. Okay. So I have pool party. I'm gonna leave this open just in case I want it. Um, and I'm gonna go with crumb cake. So I'm actually using the same brush for crumb cake and for, um, I didn't, I barely got anything off before I started this. And for soft suede. So I have some lighter. Once I get more color on here, it'll look less pink. It'll look more like the browns that that I'm sponging with. So I'm just trying to fill in all of the all of the space here. Um with my color. Uh that's definitely darker, so I gotta be more careful with it. So with this stamp, um, you sort of get color in between because it's really light, um, like it's light ink that shows up with um, um, because of the, let me show you in the picture, because of this texture that um, is in the stamp itself, just light ink shows up in the middle. So you kind of get the the color in the middle of the stamp too. All right, I feel like I wanna go back over with some, <clears throat> some blue again, pool party again. All right, done with that. Let me get these edges. So I got color everywhere, but I wanna deepen this blue a little bit. Okay, we're gonna call that good for, for our blending brush, brushes. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of stamping with, I liked the soft suede when I did it, so we're gonna give that a try. So we're gonna stamp this here and here. Isn't this just a different look for your, for color for, ooh, for this stamp set? I love it. All right, we're just gonna go with that. We're gonna be happy with that. Okay, done with that. Oh, I'm not done with that. Okay, I'm gonna put my layers together and then I'll come back to it. And I forgot my I don't think there's one here. Just a sec, I forgot my silicone mat. I think I hid it from myself somewhere or collected it up with all the other ones that I have for everybody. Okay, so, and my adhesive is All right, so we're going to put adhesive 
on here. I'm refreshing my screen again a sec. So this is soft suede. And then putting it on pool party again. I'm gonna flip it over. It's a little bit longer on there and I want I don't want that to show in the front. Okay, so here's my card so far. Nadine's card, totally casing her. Um, thank you. I see Lynn said hello. Thank you, Marsha, that you like all those colors. Me too. I fell in love with her card. Okay. Then what I need, this also, I've been using like crazy. This is my favorite saying from the stamps. That is the thinking of you. I just love it. This big, long, pretty font. And I don't know if I have, go down here. I don't know if I have, for you guys, or if it's just been in class, done this fussy cutting with this. Um, but I'm gonna do it right now. So I'm gonna do fussy cutting, but I'm, it's not gonna be too particular. Um, I want it nice and rounded, and I want it close to the words. I think I mentioned, again, I, I feel like it was in a club, not with, not on a live. Um, there's a stamp set called Charming, Charming Sentiments that has a font sort of similar to this, a little bit thicker, a little bit funner instead of prettier. Does that make sense? Um, that there's dyes for each of the sentiments that, um, um, that cut out like this. So it's kind of cool. So I'm not trying to get in every little nook and cranny, but just sort of the big ones and then, and then just sort of make it, um, Round it around that. So come down there. There. Okay, so I have it. I have it all cut out. Okay. Then I want dimensionals. I'm probably going to need some of both kinds. So I have my minis here too. I wasn't sure how skinny I was going to get this. So I want... I have all sorts of open dimensionals and I only found the one that was, <laughs> they're, they're open, but they're still full sheets. The minis I found the right one though. I don't want to bother cutting. I just want to give something small. So we want a small one there and a small one down there. Okay. I sort of wanted this whole part um, supported, so that's why I have so many, big and small. All right, so we're gonna put this here, right there, no. I'm just gonna put it here. All right, I'm refreshing again a second. <clears throat> okay, and then we just need some embellishments. So I'm gonna go with, um, the Rustic Metallic Adhesive Back Dots. So this is part of the, um, um, I think it's called He's All That Suite, the, the masculine. Um, yeah, thanks. I love this neck. I need to do it again. I know I haven't done it in a while. <clears throat> um, um, so anyway, so these these embellishments are um, in that suite. So I'm gonna do large ones and small ones and I'm gonna put one more tiny one at the bottom. There, and it's done. One more thing I could do, but I, I no, I'm not going to. I'm just gonna be done. 
I was thinking that it would be nice to have some sparkle, but you get the shine from the embossing, so you don't really need the sparkle, I guess. Okay, <clears throat> so there's that one. Thank you, Nadine, for the idea. Um, okay, hopefully she's not planning to use it for a swap for our next team meeting. Because <laughs> if she is, well, then you guys will get one when you're there. All right, next card is, oh, I gotta find my stuff. All right, so I have this piece of <clears throat> designer paper. It's from Rustic Harvest, which is, it's part of the sweet, I don't remember what the sweet is called. I'm not using the stamp set, but I'll show you what the sweet, Oh, Hello Harvest is the bundle. Um, and this is part of the designer paper that's in there. Um, and so this is obviously just black and white, but I'm going to do a little something about that. Um, so just a sec. It's really annoying to have to refresh this all the time to make sure I'm trying to answer questions. Um, oops, oops, oops. Went too far. Just a sec. I'm sorry. Thank you, Lisa Marie and Marsha and Penny. Hi, Penny. Okay. So now what I'm doing, <laughs> I'm going back to my standard colors. I just love these. Um, and this is a really quick card and with an amazing look. So I have my, we got, we got. Um, what's it called? Baby wipes fuzz on here. All right, so I have crushed curry, and I'm, usually when I'm sponging, I'm worrying about not getting too much on here. You know, I sort of need to get it off on here and then blend it onto the paper, and with this designer paper that I'm coloring, you don't need to do that at all. So, crushed curry. Then pumpkin pie. Every time I go, oops. Every time I go pumpkin pie, say pumpkin pie, I think twice like I need to say paper pumpkin. Okay, so I'm sort of trying to blend all my colors. Like some I just want orange and some I want blended into the yellow um, or crushed curry. And then cherry cobbler. These are, these are the same colors that I used on my, it was not my card last week. Last week was all the, the um, shabby chic ones. Um, but a couple weeks ago, I did my, my swap that I did for backstage. Okay, and then, so I just want, I want nice deep color on here, actually. And I keep trying to, um, bend this thin designer paper and I don't want to do that so I'm trying to hold it okay if you want some red down here you can do that but anyway so that's my that's my designer paper that started out black and white I love it so pretty okay now I just want to do a quick couple cuts <clears throat> so this strip is cut to one and a half inches wide by four and a half inches long. And so I'm gonna cut it at one and a half again, and one and a half again. That's it. All right, now I already have squares cut for, <clears throat> for these in, I about said in paper pumpkin, in pumpkin pie. So I'm going to put adhesive on the back, adhesive on the back, <clears throat> and one more. And I'm refreshing again. Okay. So I'm putting these squares on. So <clears throat> I don't think that I mentioned this already. Um, <clears throat> it does not matter 
In fact, it's kind of cool if you do it different. <clears throat> it does not matter. Um, you do not need to have them in the same order that you cut them in, even in the same direction. Um, you can be different. Thank you, Bev. <clears throat> okay. So I have, <clears throat> excuse me, just a sec, I need a drink. All right. <clears throat> Set those aside for a sec. So I have um, a basic white strip here that I'm going to put on kind of like a third down here. And now I need to put these on. And no, I'm not using dimensionals. I guess I could, but I did not. So I'm actually going to do them not in the same order. So I'm going to do two outside ones here. And then I can get my inside one here. So, haha, isn't that pretty? So I have this, they kind of don't even look like they're from the same strip. I just have these pretty designs um, in the fall color. So um, I forgot to clean my stamp here. I need to clean my Thinking of You stamp because as I mentioned, it's my favorite and I'm not using it in soft suede on this card. Okay, we need black stays on. You know that I use black stays on whenever I can as opposed to memento. I just like the black better, and since I'm not using photopolymer, I can do that. So I'm going bottom left here. So pretty. Then, so we have some glittery, I forgot what it's called, if it's glitter washi tape, glimmer washi tape, I, I don't know. I'm not even exactly sure where these, um, thanks Jamie and Terry, exactly where these are in the catalog other than they're by the Halloween stuff. So these all come together in a, a set. Um, so I'm using the black. So if you can't tell, green, orange, <laughs> I pointed it to them wrong. Black, orange, green, purple probably Granny Apple Green and Highland Heather, Pumpkin Pie, and Basic Black. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is a long one here, long strip here. Is it even, it's not on there, right? Just a sec, I want it straight. Okay, and then I'll cut this here. Then I want to do a shorter one here. So I flip it over so I can, <clears throat> excuse me, make sure that I am getting flush with the card so not, there's not extra sticking out. And then I want one more over here. I don't want it to be as long as this first piece here. I like there to be, you probably know this about me already, I like there to be different, um, I like the lines to hit at different spots. So like, here's a line, here's a line, here's a line, here's a line, here's a line. Oh, this one kind of meets that one, but that's okay. For the most part, I have them all varying. They're, they're, so they're offsetting each other. That's the way I like it. Okay. And then one last thing that I'm gonna do is these are the glossy, um, glossy, I don't have the, oh, here it is. Glossy Dots Assortment. So this is Gorgeous Grape, Melon Mambo, Daffodil Delight, and Pool Party. And I'm just gonna use a row of, I'm gonna put this in here a row of the yellow and 
important. Put those on. I'm not sure I like that placement. Let's try this again. <laughs> I'm not liking where they're where they're ending up. I oh, know that's better. Okay. So here's my final card. Okay. So I'm going to refresh you a second and then pull up. I realized last week, probably because I was doing so many cards and was worrying about not being able to flip for you, um, I forgot to show the cards when I pulled you guys up. Okay, so I'm going to un-upside down you, put you backwards, lift you up, and here we are. Just a sec, I can't get the, this up as high as I want. Okay. So here is, here is the last card that I just made. Ha! This one looks like a flower now that I have it in the center of the, the leaf. <laughs> That's too funny. Okay. And then here's this one that I did from from Nadine. Okay, so quick things to tell you. If you have questions, you can ask and I'll try to refresh and see them. Um, quick things to tell you. Tonight at midnight mountain time, um, so tomorrow, 24 hours tomorrow, there is a stamp sale. It's just on the annual catalog. It is not in the mini catalog. All stamps only except for the Hostess ones, are discounted 15%. It doesn't count on the bundle. It's just the stamp set. Um, just for 24 hours. So midnight mountain time till midnight mountain time. To It's hard to talk about midnight. Tonight for 24 hours. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, there are weekly deals still today, and they're excuse me, will be new ones tomorrow. And there are perfect partners. Those are the ones that are the, um, I'm refreshing again. Those are the ones that are the dies that are only available um, um, this month. Um, there's, I'll try to remember which ones they are because I don't have the list in front of me. There's, um, Thank you. Uh, I'm glad that you like them, ladies. Thank you so much. Um, there's Yeti, Apple, Pigs, um, Waterfall. Um, and the other ones I'm forgetting. There's some kind of flowers. And the other ones I'm forgetting because I didn't have any samples with it. I don't remember the other one. Anyway, so you can only get the dyes this month. They're not in the catalog and they won't be in the catalog um, after September. So keep that in mind. Um, let's see, are there more things? I don't remember. Oh, one thing that I wanna tell you, I don't know if you saw this on, um, I shared it this morning, or I, I scheduled it for this morning. Um, Sarah Douglas, our Stampin' Up! CEO, and Brian Pilling, he's a, uh, sales manager of some kind above us. Um, they did a reveal on the swag bag for on stage. I'm so excited. They have this really cool, um, like crossbody purse sort of thing. That's part of it. Um, it's, it's cool stuff. Um, if you want to go to on stage, if you want that swag bag, and you are not a demonstrator, you need to sign up to be a demonstrator. Sign up to join my team. Um, and then you need to register for on stage by um, the 20th, which is today's 14. So next Tuesday, right? Um, so you still have time. We, my team and I are going to Indianapolis and we're so excited. Love it. <clears throat> um, that's all that I can think of right now. Um, I'm getting ready to post classes. I still need to get my mind around my calendar. Um, 
But that's all that I have to share with you for today. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for putting up with my having to refresh. I will. I promise I'll go back and answer any questions anybody has that I missed. Um, and I'm thankful for that I have my tools back so I can, can flip you so you can watch what I'm doing. <laughs> have a great day and a great week. And I will be with you next week. I'm not going to be missing any lives um, for this. Um, but next week, I'm going to be going to see my sister in San Antonio. I'm so excited. But I still will be here on Wednesday. So um, have a great week, and I will see you later. Thanks. Bye.